Okay, this is a quick video just to show the undervolt settings on my uh, 5800X, which by doing so has you know decreased temperatures by about 10 degrees and improved um, all, all core clock speeds. What you're seeing here, or what I'm going to show you in here now, is a, just a quick cine bench starting off um, after the undervolt has been applied. Originally, and in stock settings, the um, processor was getting up between 83 and 85 degrees on a uh, cine bench run. Um, so this is just going to show, you know, the difference in temperatures you get by making small changes to AMD precision boost within the motherboard or the BIOS settings. The motherboard I have here, now it will depend the settings on which motherboard you have. Um, but I, I know these are in some of the MSI ones. What I'm using is the Asus ROG Strict X570E gaming motherboard, um, with the 5800X. So here I've just kicked off, uh, Cinebench. Um, generally, the temperatures don't fluctuate too much when Cinebench is running, and that's if it's a 10-minute run or a 30-minute run. But what we see is temperatures of around 73, 74, you know, it might max at 75 degrees. This is at least 10 degrees lower than um, what I had before. And my clock ski speeds, I'm getting between 4.6 and 4.7. I was getting about 4.5 on, on original stock. Now, Depending on your processor and the settings I'm going to show you, you can adjust these to you know improve performance and such. As you see here, even my fans they're not even running at max at this stage, um, you know because I'm keeping it under that that 80 degrees mark, which is where I want to be, and getting you know performance that's that's better than stock. So you know I've run this test a number of times. Um, I've tested a few of the different settings, and for your processor, you'll need to do the same. But when I was looking on YouTube, I couldn't find any uh you know video or or article that just quickly showed me within the 5800 hex how to change these within the bias settings so as you see here this is still running um and it you know it won't make really any difference to how long a runner it generally goes between that 73 to 75 degrees and that's with an ambient temperature of about 22 23 degrees in this room uh on a colder you know in, a, in a, when it's down around the 20 degrees it, it stays around this you know it's two or three degrees um down on that um so you know keeping an eye on wattages keeping an eye here i use um hw monitor it's a good one to keep an eye on your cores and your max and min temps um okay so let's go into the bias and look at the settings we're using here uh, so this is the bias for the x570e asus uh, motherboard originally when i was looking in here um and from reading articles online um i thought it was in the ai tweaker um, because there is a section here for um if i scroll down precision boost overdrive i assumed it was in there i do these settings but it, it's actually not within this motherboard uh, and again this could be different for each um, motherboard but it's in advanced and then we go down to amd overclocking these are the settings we're going to want to change um so you go in here we click accept to the um mandatory you know, those those overclock warnings that appear in every application we do it with so precision boost overdrive we click on now within here we want to set precision boost overdrive to advanced. Originally, we'd be on auto. To do this undervolt, we're going to click on advanced. Um, for PBO limits, um, your default setting would probably be auto on that. We want to change it to manual. When the manual mode, we'd be allowed to change these three settings. So for the PBT limit, I would test between 120 and 125. Now, this is using an AIO cooler. For TDC, I would test between 75 and 85, and for the EDC, I test between 130 and 140. These are some of the settings I'm using uh, currently for this um, test you're seeing right now. So we see the 120, the 75, and the 130. Um, um, just to be, just to know, if you have this on disable and the curve we're going to set in a minute, it what that would do is increase performance, keep but keep temps the same. That's that's the power of the undervolt, depending on how good your processor is. If you're not happy with your temps, but also want to, you know, bit of get a bit of increase in your performance, um, we would we would set those PBO limits. So the actual option to you know where to apply the undervolt to the processor is going to be down here in the curve optimizer. And in here, you want to set the curve optimizer to all cores. You want the all core optimizer sign to be negative. And in here, you want the magnitude. This value should be tested at 10, 20, and 30. 30 being the max. Um, and that adjusts the curve of the uh, 
processor which um, in turn will increase performance um, and reduce temperatures especially with these limits set so you know have a test try some options so the main thing you want to do is a curve optimizer negative set your value at 10 20 or 30 uh, if you just test a Cindy bench and that run you will notice increased um, increased performance at the same, roughly the same temperature rate. If you're not happy with your current temperatures and want to reduce those, you set those PBO limits to manual and try some of the settings I'm showing you here now. Um, so these, you know, these just a quick, just to show you, because I couldn't find them an easy uh, video on YouTube. This is just showing you where those settings are. So just to note, the final values I ended up using after much testing was PBT at 120, TDC at 85, and EDC at 130. Um, so listen, I hope you enjoyed the video and you know, best of luck with your uh, undervolt overclocking um, settings journey that this will take you on.